this is the first physical book I've received written by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. Aj Bangla Manush Mukti Chai? Bangla Manush Vasti Chai? Bangla Manush Odika Chai? Bangla Manush Shadi Nato Chai? Abor Sangwam Shadi Nato Sangwam? Abor Sangwam Mukti Sangwam? Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was able to make the dream of freedom the Bengalis had been dreaming from for a thousand years come true. Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina. When Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's diaries came to light in 2004, it was an indisputably historic event. His daughter, Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, had the notebooks. Their pages by then brittle and discolored, carefully transcribed and later translated from Bengali into English. Written during Sheikh Mujibur Rahman's sojourns in jail as a state prisoner between 1967 and 1969, they began with his recollections of his days as a student activist in the run-up to the movement for Pakistan in the early 1940s. They covered the Bengali language movement, the first stirrings of the movement of Bangladesh independence and self-rule, powerfully conveyed the great uncertainties as well as the great hopes that dominated the time. Oh my god, this is exactly the book I've been looking for. This is exactly the part of the book I'm on and I need this book right now. The last notebook ends with the events accompanying the struggle for democratic rights in 1955. These are Sheikh Mujib's own words. The language has only been changed for absolute clarity when required. What the narrative brings out with immediacy and passion is his intellectual and political journey from a youthful activist to the leader of a struggle for natural, national liberation. Sheikh Mujib describes vividly how, despite being in prison, he was in the forefront of organizing the protest that followed the Declaration of Urdu as the state language of Pakistan. On 21 February 1952, the police opened fire on a peaceful student procession, killing many. <clears throat> that brutal action unleashed the powerful movement that culminated in the birth of the new nation of Bangladesh in 1971. This extraordinary document is not only a portrait of a nation in the making, it is written by the man who changed the course of history, led his people to freedom. And this is 1200 Takas in Bangladesh. All right, so I'm super excited to read this book and I hope that you can get one too, not only to honor him with me, but also so that you can read along. This is very valuable to me as it is a book consisting of the words of the founding father of Bangladesh, the homeland of my parents. So this is extremely important to me. So thank you, and I'll be reading the first chapter next time.